What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J here with a video all about winged eyeliner. How to do winged eyeliner is like the most asked question that I could possibly get. Now mind you, I've been doing winged eyeliner since I was about 10 years old so I have plenty experience and I'm able to just kind of do it with no effort now if you're a beginner I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to do winged eyeliner and get the look that you've been going for trust me it's not as hard as you think it is you're really probably overthinking it it has a lot to do with the products that you use as well as your technique so I will show you my technique just practice and I promise you you will get the hang of it now everybody's eye shape is different so based on your eye shape you may need to just hold your eye a little bit different to apply the eyeliner but overall the technique is the same before I jump into the demonstration I am going to share my favorite eyeliners and I promise you guys these eyeliners are going to give you the most bomb eyeliner that you can imagine if you watch my channel you probably know which ones I'm going to say so as far as liquid and cream go I feel like those are going to give you the most precise winged eyeliner you can create a winged eyeliner with a pencil but trust me you're going to be doing so much more work than if you would just go for a liquid or a cream eyeliner personally i feel like a cream eyeliner is easier for a beginner to do because it's not as fluid as a liquid eyeliner it's going to give you a little bit more control but the downside to that is that you have to buy a brush so those are two things you have to buy as opposed to a liquid eyeliner you just have to buy the product aside from the winged eyeliner if you just want to do regular eyeliner and you're like girl i cannot do the winged i just want to line my lid with the pencil the only pencil that i love and i mean love is the Marc Jacobs highliner this one is in blacker they have so many different colors so if you're not a black eyeliner person they have brown gray and they just release so many colors but this eyeliner stays put it doesn't move it's so creamy it doesn't tug at the eye area which is a big factor in eyeliner and so you're able to just line the top of your lid if that's what you want to do so these are my three favorite eyeliners with the Tom Ford eyeliner being my number one favorite. This pen makes it so easy to apply eyeliner. So it's a dual sided pen. It retails for $56. I buy these pens probably once every four months. So it does last me a while and I do use it on a daily basis. So it is dual sided. So one side it has a longer brush and then the other side it has a shorter brush. This is the side that I use the most. It is called a calligraphy pen. And honestly guys, it is so smooth and easy to work with it gives like such a nice glide to it and the actual product is super super black that's in it so you don't have to continuously go over it it's just absolutely beautiful and then the other side is more so like a traditional felt tip brush so it's not as smooth but it's more so of a detailed side I love the formula it's not a matte eyeliner so if you're going in thinking it's going to be matte you're going to be picking the wrong one it is a satin finish next I have a makeup forever ink eyeliner and I get this from Sephora this one is a traditional felt tip eyeliner and it dries matte it is very intense the brush is shorter so you're going to be able to have a lot of control but to me this one doesn't flow as easily as the Tom Ford and this one is more advanced in my opinion it's shorter so it's not very forgiving you have to have a pretty steady hand to get a straight line with this one but this one the ink is a lot blacker and it is matte this one slightly smudges on me depending on the type of foundation I have on so if my foundation is really dewy or if my eyes tear up a little bit this one can smudge so that's something to consider when using the ink eyeliner it's not waterproof and it's not really water resistant and lastly, I have the Inglot number 77 gel eyeliner. This is a gel eyeliner, or I was calling it a cream earlier, and that's because it's in a pot, and you need a brush to apply this, but it gives you a ton of product, and you're able to control it a little bit better than the thinner liquid eyeliners. So this one is my favorite by Inglot. It is the blackest of the black eyeliners that I own. This one is extremely pigmented once you have it on it's no going backwards it is very very pronounced so if you're very fair skinned you may not like this one because it may be too intense but I like intense eyeliners that's what I prefer 
This retails for $15. They sell this at a lot of different places. Inglot, they sell it at a lot of professional makeup stores, makeup trade shows. They sell it at Macy's and Beautylish. I have managed to dip a big hole in it, but I still have a lot of it. The downside to this eyeliner is, is that it does dry up. It's because of the pot. The pot is not airtight. Once you open it, you're allowing the air to get in and it dries it out. Inglot created a product called Duraline. No, it is not a necessity to have it, but yes, it's going to revive your products and give it a little bit more life. So you're not finding yourself having to repurchase these products over and over again. You can also use this with other cream products as well. Not face products, but mainly eye products that come in a pot. And it makes your products waterproof. I recommend the MAC 210 brush. You can use whatever brush you have. There are so many eyeliner brushes on the market. This one is just the one that I'm most familiar with and the one that I've been using for the longest. The bristles on this brush are super short, very thin brush, so it's not going to apply your eyeliner thick. So I dip right into it, and some people don't even like dipping into their products. Some people like to scoop some out to each their own. This is my personal eyeliner, so I just dip right into it. Look at that. Look how black that is. Like, it's so intense. It was already very waterproof to begin with, but if you mix it with Duraline, it's definitely not going anywhere. So once I shower tonight, it's still going to be there. And then I'll also give you guys swatches of the other products. So this one is the Makeup Forever. Here is the calligraphy side of the Tom Ford. Here is the felt tip smaller defining side of the Tom Ford. So all of these eyeliners are going to provide different finishes. On one side of my eye, I applied the Tom Ford pen, and then on the other side, I applied the Inglot eyeliner. And I didn't do the Makeup Forever eyeliner because you guys can see the technique with the Tom Ford eyeliner, so just use the same technique. But let me know some of you guys' favorite black eyeliners down below. I'm always down to try something. If you guys have something that you feel like I need to go get that, so if you want to see the demo, then here we go. Uh huh. The first thing that I do when I apply my eyeliner is determine whether or not I want a wing. If I want a wing, then I apply a very tiny line here and sort of wisp it out. You want to be cautious of your pressure point with this because if you apply it too thick, then you're going to have a really thick wing. You almost want to barely touch it and then flick it up. And so then I come back and you see here's the tail end of the eyeliner. And so I go about in the middle here and I trace it down like that. And that way we see the general shape that we want. The trick is just to always do your eyeliner in stages. So then I start from the middle and I begin to marry it together. Like so. And just connect it. And then I go in the front and draw a slight line. And then I go in the very inner corner and draw a slight line. As you may notice, I have not filled it in yet. And that's because you can go back and do that. But you just want to draw the general shape. And that is how you get your eyeliner to look perfect. Don't try to start from the inside and go out because that's when you make mistakes. So then after I get my general shape, I go back and I fill it in with the pen. And then you want to make sure that the top is connected like that. And then I just fill it in. And that's how I do my eyeliner. If you want it more dramatic, then you would draw the outside more dramatic and come back in. But this is the overall technique that I use when I do my winged eyeliner. Or some people even like to take concealer right underneath. And you can do this with an angled brush or just a really small detailer brush and go right against that line just to really sharpen it up. But if you do the technique that I show, you shouldn't have too much of a problem. On the other side, I'm going to use a gel eyeliner. After I've dipped my brush into the products, I make sure I slightly take some off to get the brush back in formation. And then what I do is 
again I go like this and kind of stretch my eyes out with my eyebrows and if you're not able to do that if you feel like you need your skin to be a little bit more taunt definitely lightly tuck and again I do the same thing so I create a line Try to keep your wing as similar to this one as possible. So if that means you need to start out a little bit smaller and add on. So a little bitty line here. Flick it out. So the flick is where you have the bulk of the product at the bottom. And then you lighten up your touch until it goes out. And then come back in. Just like on the other side. So draw that line. Okay. And then go in stages until you get to the front curve as your eye curves, okay? And so then once you're done doing that, go in and fill it in just like we did on the other side. So at the end, assess. Okay, so this wing goes all the way out here to my brow. And this wing kind of is smaller. So what I'm going to do is the part that's already filled in, I'm going to start to flick it outward until it matches. So make sure you look at both sides and then I'm going to go back down to match that flick. So do that in stages until it's the same. You can always tell if your eyeliner is straight if you look straight on. But definitely using the technique of just going in stages instead of trying to go straight across has helped so many people. I taught so many people that technique. So I am going to go ahead and put on some mascara and my lashes and I'll be right back. And here we have it. The liner with lashes. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I hope this video helps build your confidence. I know applying a winged eyeliner is one of the more difficult makeup processes, but definitely with practice, you'll be able to nail it. Let me know if you guys go practice down below, and also let me know if you try my technique. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that, and then hit the bell. That way you're notified when I upload a new video. Leave me a comment and thumbs this video up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, you don't have to thumbs it down. You really don't. But if you want to, that's your prerogative. So I'll see you guys in my very next video. Smooches! Bye!